hey everyone welcome to the channel code farm this video we are going to talk about java implementation for unique id generator in distributed system what is unique id generator in distributed system so i hope you watched this video if you have not watched this one the link is available in the description go ahead and check that out so this covers a lot of things about unique id generator why they are needed what are the problem statement what are the benefits and what are the different options available so in those in those available options two methods were there uid v7 and snowflake and there was database auto increment op operation also so we are going to implement because database auto increment is pretty straightforward uh, and uid v7 and snowflake is a like set of algorithms that we understood in the previous video this video we are going to implement that one so the agenda is simple we are going to see the project structure what it is going to be there so i have prepared it like as a spring boot service and there is a ui also we will go ahead with step by step first we are understanding the uid v7 then is no flake so this is how i want to give it the final look this project unique id generated we have different option uid 7 is no flake so let me refresh it a bit so that things are clear so uh, if i click on the get new id i should be able to get the word new id so this is the every time i click on this one i will get the new uid v7 and any point in time i want to fetch the last five ids i can see this one as well the same is true for the snowflake also so let me take you to the project structure so this project has been created as an a spring boot service uh, as a spring boot application so uh, when you have to create the spring boot project so usually uh, the same way you go to start.spring.io and put the dependencies there so how the structure is so this is uh, folder structure if you come to the main so here java is there and this is the main package name uh, code form id master controller model repository service these are the four structures and this is the id master application so these are the things uh, this structure apart from this package structure you will get by default from the spring boot coming to the dependencies like uh, how many dependencies i have added in here so the java version is uh, that is used here is 19 and the first dependency is gpa the second one is the time leaf then we have starter web and for the database we are using h2 database why there is a reason we are not using uh, any oracle or mysql database that is installed in my system just to make sure that without any local setup uh, for the database you should be able to run it when you get this project so database is a in memory database whenever i start my application it will run uh, there as well so these are the dependencies here right next let's talk about the rest endpoints that are there so move to the controller unique id controller is the name of the controller that is named in such a way uh, so there is a dependency of unique id service for the business logic and this is auto wired so it will be uh, taken care by uh, spring only so the initial request mapping so this is the endpoint api v1 ids initials of the endpoints and this is the first one uid v7 uid so for now let's forget about others we will focus on this one okay so i uh, uid v7 uid so whenever i hit this endpoint this will go to unique id service and this method is going to be there so forget about others generate uid7 so ui so here there are different dependencies in here notice here so unique id v7 generator is there sequential id generator is there, is there snowflake id generator is there and one id repository is there so for now let's focus on this dependency uid v7 generator so this is making further a call to generate uid v7 when we are getting so this is the core of the uid v7 generator okay and here the algorithm that is there is implemented in here so what are the steps first to get the uid v7 first we are going to get the current time stamp then we are going to get a random 12 bits number 12 bit sequence number 
that is this is something that we are going to adjust in the most significant bits right and these are the or bitwise operators to uh, why there are bitwise operators they are pretty much fast they work at the hardware level uh, so that is why they are pretty fast right and when we have to do the manipulation at bit level bitwise operators are pretty good so because you see a uh, uid v7 is a 128 bit representation ultimately that is where we have to fit this in right so that is why all the operations that you were see in here they are in, in the bitwise operation so it's pretty straight forward and so two things we have to calculate most significant bit and least significant bit both of these things most significant bit and least significant bit i have to pass it to the uid so uid comes from the java.util uid v7 comes in the java utils package only so to generate the uid v7 we won't be able to use the java util uid class because this is not yet there if you use the random uid you will get the random one but that won't be shortable by time so if i search in here uh, uid v7 it it's, it won't be there so that is why uh, that specification has been published and anyone can implement this one right so this is how the simple implementation for this one uh, we can get the time stamp number time stamp representation and the random sequence there and we can use the existing uid class to generate the uid okay so the steps of steps are simple so by this way we can get the uid v7 so just to make things more clear let me debug this and show you it step by step how it looks like so i will just put a debug point in here okay and this will give you the demo of the rest end point as well so i will hit this end point the ui that i was showing in here this one i will explain in a bit uh, but for now let's uh, see this one uh, uid v7 ids and the next one is this new id okay so just hit this okay so this is the mismatch okay so this is how i hit this one so first call came to this one controller generate uid v7 then i got in here then now here is the debug point in here okay so let's move step by step right so first one uh, if i go in i will get the current time stamp this is how it is there and this is the sequence that i will get it uh, by doing uh, by doing this bitwise and operator so sequence is coming as a 5 bits in here right so let's see what is coming as a, a time stamp we are uh, shifting it by 16 bit and doing the and bitwise operator with this number in here so what is that most significant bit i got this this number then there is an or operator with the sequence that was generated earlier if we combine this one we will get this number 1128 this one right so now we are done with the most significant bit what is the least significant bit we will get the random number again in here so this will be and operator uh, with this two bits and then shifting left shift operator and then or operator these all together combining giving us the least significant bit as this one and most both of these we are passing on to this constructor in here and this will give us the unique id okay if i get this one so this is the id that i got so this is how uids are represented right so first one is 8 bits then 4 then 4 then 4 then 12 so the sequence goes like this 8 4 4 12 so this is how i get uh, uh, this is how uh, i get the 128 bit representation in binary so when i got this one other things are there just to save this in the database so there is this generated id constructor so i am setting the id what is the approach and what is the time stamp in here okay 
सो जस्ट दो दिस वन दिस रिपोजिटरी इज देयर जनरेटेड आई डी रिपोजिटरी सो दैट इज वेर वी हैव दिस जी पी ए रिपोजिटरी एक्सटेंडिंग दिस वन एंड अदर थिंग्स कम बाई डिफॉल्ट विद दिस वन यू ऑल नो राइट सो दिस विल सेव दैट आई डी इन द सिस्टम एंड ऑल्सो इट विल रिटर्न टू द यू आई सो इफ आई कम इन हीयर आई शुड बी एबल टू सी द आई डी एंड द टाइम मेन इट वो जनरेटेड सो इफ आई हैव टू सी दिस इन द डेटा बेस सो दैट इज ऑल्सो अवेलेबल एच टू कंसोल ओके सो पासवर्ड इज पासवर्ड एंड दीज आर द थिंग्स यू विल गेट बाई डिफॉल्ट सो जस्ट दिस इज द टेबल दैट इज जनरेटेड ऑटोमेटिकली generate id just run this one these are the so these are the uids uh, that were generated previously when i hit actually so this is the latest one uh, these are this is how you will get the ids so approach whether it is a uid v7 or a snowflake as of now we are interacting with the uid v7 so we are getting this one okay at the so this is how the algorithm and couple of more things about uh, the project structure so one important thing how it is being stored in the database so these are the properties that you have to mention in here so these are the self explanatory so this is the application name this is the uh, database data source url this is the database driver so if you want to use the mysql you can replace it with it's uh, you can replace with the respective driver details username sa and the password is there s2 console is enabled in here so this is the path and this is the database platform dialect that it is going to use uh, and this is the ddl auto update what is the operations that i want what whenever i am trying to start my application there are others update create none and there so use it whatever so for the development purpose update is pretty good to go so this is how this will run the application now coming to the ui part uh, how it is working so uh, we are using so you saw the dependency right so time leaf uh, is the template engine so for this one we have this index.html uh, this is the head this is the body unique id generator and this is the approach section so uh, i got this generated all of uh, this uh, index.html with the help of chat gpt uh, Uh, i ha don't have to write it step by step right so but just i understand but i understand what each line is doing right so this is the button uh, that is get new id that we are seeing in the ui so it is calling the fetch new id okay and fetch new id we are passing this approach here uid v7 so let's see where is fetch new id v7 so this is the method that fetch new fetch new id so this is the approach that is there and this is making the call to api v1 ids and what is a whatever approach is there and then it is getting the response from there and it is processing that response and it is putting that in the element ids in the html at, uh, whatever that id got generated dot dot id right so that is how i can get the ui representation of this one how so this is the simple html representation and this is the css that gives the it that uh, uh, beautiful look colorful uh, look formatted look that is styling part right so that is all uh, i think about this project and the main uh, crux about this about uh, this service class and this generator that is uid v7 generator that be understood and this is how you can get it and get more details around so yeah this is the debugger so i just have to remove it i can go ahead and try to get the more ids as applicable and last five ids are there so i can use uh, for any purpose that i need so how you can get this project in here right so i will give you the link in the description box itself you can come in here and see the details about this as well so if you come to the code form 0 come to repository section here okay and uh, come to repositories here and you see there is a there is a repository projects store um microservices project store right search for this one come this one um online shopping portal so id master also should be there you will get the details in here i will put the i will post the link in this repository itself you can go ahead and check that link in here 
वन मोर थिंग बिफोर लीविंग आई वॉन्टेड टू शो इफ यू कम टू दिस रिपोजिटरी सिस्टम डिजाइन uh as i was showing so system design there there are uh, here i have put other details as well so video links are also in here other why i want to show this one because there are other details as well in here so if you come to resources section so whatever i explained uid v7 uh, if you want to uh, go to step by step in here uh, you can go do this as well so this is the representation of the unique id v7 so uh, that detailing and all that as much as possible i have put in so steps to generate uid v7 this same thing be saw in the debugger as well obtain the current time stamp generate the random bits set the version and variant bits combine time stamp and random bits these are the four steps and you will get the uid v7 representation of the uid and this is the further the detailed breakdown of the code that was there and this is the example of with a uh, walk through with one example that is there that we saw in the debugger so i hope it uh, you got the understanding and it will help you uh, in getting the unique id v7 generator and um, what else i wanted to cover so why i put these details in the database because i wanted to show if i can short it uh, by time only uh, only so let's do this one where approach uid v7 order by id dsc okay so if i order i if i order it by v7 so how i can make sure that these ids are shorted by time so i can see uh, i have put the time in stamp detail in here as well you can see that what time they are created so 9 27 34 9 27 39 9 27 40 so if you see the this timing and this ids they are they're matching right so if you you can generate so uh, these these you can validate uh, by this one uh, what time they are generated in this one right so that is how you, and if i put this because i have put the ordering by id and but checking the timing stamp and i'm making sure that they are shorted by time so just to double check on this one you can put the ordering by timing stamp and then check the result they should be ordering should be exactly same that is how you can make sure that they are ordered by time so i can now index on time i can get the queries very efficiently run because i don't have to generate any index on the time instance just for ordering on the by the time instance whenever i get it whenever i have that requirement basically okay so that's all about it uh, i will cover the snowflake implementation in the separate video just immediately after this one so make sure that you check that out as well and there are other plans as well in this project so because whenever we have generated this uid v7 snowflake we want to do the uh, rigorous testing around it so i will write the integration test for this one i will have the load test as well and make sure that uh, this is generating whatever we need it uh, just this double checking and uh, making sure uh, by doing a lot of testing around this one so make sure that you check out other videos as well on the channel and you subscribe the channel and hit that uh, bell icon so that you get the notification as soon as i upload the videos there I'll see you in the next one with the snowflake implementation till then take care bye bye